First of all, see, I'm trying to multitask at the same time. Chat with my tech team while I'm vlogging with you guys. This is how committed I, I am to this vlog. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. You know, I see a lot of innovation um, that lack just a little bit of money, or especially developing a technology or building an MVP, minimum valuable product. But there's a lot of small grants out there that do not require a lot of due diligence. If you ask for a grant above 100,000, they're going to ask you a lot of questions. They're going to ask you for your financial, your company registration, uh, they're going to do their due diligence because that's a lot of money. You know, so they want to make sure they're giving to the right people and not just wasting their money. Money Plus, most of the time, anything above 100,000, they break it down into milestones. So you get X for this, then when you achieve this, you get a Y, then Z, and then etc. But 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, no. Nah. Those are usually competition grants type of structure. So those are cool, you know. You apply, if you win, you get that money transfer automatically, no questions asked. Um, they don't ask you for, for reports every quarter, every month, or every year. You know, you just got the full amount of money. You can do pretty much uh, whatever you want with that money. And those are easy to get, but, there's always a but. I know, that's, that's the story of my life. Number one, you have to have an innovative idea or product. The more innovative you are, the, the more separate you are from everybody else, the, the, the better chance you have to win those, those competitions. Second, you need to spend time on Google, man. All those competitions are listed online. I did a huge vlog about uh, how to find uh, competition um, and I'll, I'll add it somewhere at the end of the video. The key word you have to use is award. If you're in the agricultural sector you say agricultural award 2019 or 2020 because some award comes early to prepare people to start looking for it and all those things but stop searching online and then I also posted some of the website like bc4a.com that posts a lot of those awards on their page. Uh, but you gotta spend time looking for them. It's apps, award, it's renewable energy award, AI, machine learning, uh, digital services, uh, FinTech. Uh, man, there's so many, uh, you, you have to spend, you know, hours and hours and you look at your team, find out somebody who's good at searching and then they just say, if you read, you find out if you can qualify because they give you the criteria uh, that they're looking for. And then you move to the next one, move to the next one. Recommendation. Please do a video explaining your innovation in detail. Short video, two to five minutes. Uh, they allow you to attach something or load it on YouTube and put the link on. It helps a lot. And then, you know, of course, you have to be a, a starter. Anything be, be beyond three years in business, uh, it's going to be hard for you to uh, to uh, to be qualified. But the last uh, point I want to make is engage the the competition uh, uh, organizing. You can find them Twitter is very good or LinkedIn. What I used to do is I always find who's uh, the the organize. I mean who. Who's the people running this competition? Find their name, invite them on LinkedIn, ask them questions. You know, sometimes the website is not detailed enough, so you might not know um, certain things. You might think you don't qualify, come to find out you do. Or you, they, they might need more candidates, so they're trying to broaden the spectrum because they also uh, need to have a, enough pool of people to apply. 
So sometimes they change, but they, they, they take time to update their website. So you find yourself, uh, you know, just reading something and then you're not sure. If it's something you feel like, man, this competition fits exactly what I'm looking for, man, just find a way to find out who's organizing, who's running it. Invite them on LinkedIn, reach out to them on Twitter and engage them and be patient and engage, you know, and then apply or ask questions. What are you looking for? What would be your perfect candidates? Uh, uh, what else you can ask? Uh, are, you, are, you, um, are you open to, the, to, to innovation from Africa? One of the, it was an ICT award from Italy. True story. I find that competition on the 10th page on Google. I did ICT award. It was on the 10th page on Google. So after I click on it, I saw it didn't it has any specific of, uh, you know, what countries and all. I read through it. I said, man, this is perfectly, that's exactly what I'm looking for. It took close to 10 months before, after applications done everything, before they came up with uh, the, 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 the result. It was two winners, uh, a lady from Nigeria and myself. And uh, so imagine, you know, it, it, it says Italy. Uh, it didn't say Africa or anything. I would have just skipped on it. I wouldn't have applied it. I would have never got it. And um, we did win it. I think it was $10,000, some change. And, uh, and there you go. So never underestimate or never think, okay, that's not for me and all, unless you're sure, unless it says only this country, only Europe, you don't know. So make sure you do your, your homework. Yeah, so this, this is it. Those are the three key points I would focus on, guys. Uh, but spend time on it, man. There's a lot of award out there, uh, those small awards that African entrepreneurs, especially in the innovation space, are now tapping into. I don't know why. Maybe they think they cannot win. Maybe they think they cannot qualify. Stop telling yourself those things, man. Just do it. The only thing they're gonna get and tell you is, oh, maybe you didn't get approved. For every win I got, I got at least five rejections. You know, they say if you want to win the race, you gotta you gotta apply, you gotta participate on the race. You can't win it from the sideline talking about I wish I was there.